Every week on Bullseye, we like to leave you with a cultural recommendation from me. It's called The Outshot. The Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco, SFMOMA, is full of works by legendary artists. Picasso and Miro and Rauschenberg and, you know, all of them. But when I was there the other day, I didn't get caught up looking at a painting or a sculpture or whatever. What punched me in the gut was something else. It was a Xeroxed photo of a cockatiel, just Xeroxed on regular printer paper. And written next to the picture of the bird in Sharpie, it said, Help, my name is Baby, and I miss my home. It's just a simple lost bird poster. Please call 487-0101 if you find or see Baby. We miss him. It wasn't a faux flyer. It was a real flyer pulled off a lamppost maybe 20, 25 years ago by an artist named Rigo 23. He grew up watching American Westerns in Portugal. And when he moved to San Francisco, he was struck by the flyers that surrounded him. I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. What does it mean? So I picked it up because I thought it was so unique. And then I saw another one and another one. I just started collecting them. But was it such, such a peculiar evolution from, you know, let's try and catch, capture this criminal or somebody that has somehow, you know, caused harm to the collective and we're giving a reward for whoever finds him or her and in a short amount of time to see that replaced by, um, I lost my bird. <laughs> he must have lived in my neighborhood, the one I grew up in. One flyer is for a bird named Speak. Gray and white, white face, very friendly. Speak flew down my block, down Guerrero Street, past my mom's old place, headed towards 15th. A parakeet, blue with a yellow head, was lost around 21st in Valencia, down by the bike shop where they fixed up my bike for free when I was a kid. I remember these posters, just from wandering around the neighborhood, just trying to get out of the house going to the Salvation Army, or K&M Liquors for now and laters. Even when I was young, I could feel how beautiful those posters were. Lost parakeet, says one. Tame, sweet, much loved and missed. I mean, here's the thing, once they're gone, I don't think birds come home. From the back porch of my mom's apartment, you could see huge flocks of bright green parrots land, the big old palm trees. They were escapees, much loved and missed. And inevitably, as I was standing there in the museum, looking at these reminders of home and reminders of loss, my mind turned. Because I lost my home in my teenage years. As money pushed the neighborhood out of the neighborhood, I lost the streets I used to walk for comfort when my adolescence got the better of me. One poster was for a lost parrot, un loro perdido, that belonged to Jorge and Susana. Mi compañero precioso y maravilloso de los trece años, it says. And in English, my pet and friend for 13 years, Grey Angel. It reminded me of the sign my mom had in her window when I was a teenager. It said, Viente años residente orgulloso de la misión. 20 years proud resident of the mission. Printed by the Mission Anti-Displacement Coalition. In vain, I guess. Lost, small parrot, yellow and red, answers to precious. Reward for Sarah's safe return. This bird has a broken leg. Lost duck, please do not try to catch him. He'll just fly away. The posters Rigo 23 collected are on the wall in the MoMA. You can go see them there. You can find them on the internet. Don't bother going to the old neighborhood, though. It isn't there anymore.
But if you see Pepe, a yellow collar macaw, lost Saturday, September 6th at 9 a.m. at the corner of 21st Street and Fair Oaks, please call. I'm lost without him. That's my outshot. <laughs>